Hi, this is Jonathan Lopez and welcome to my channel. In this video, we will show you how to use the lens of your camera as a transition point in making your videos. And this is what I'm referring to. And we will show you here in two ways. In the first one, you can see that we are zooming in through the lens. And in the second one, we are zooming out of the lens. Alright, and let's get inside the Adobe Premiere. Alright, so we are here at the Adobe Premiere screen and we already have the three clips that we will be going to use. So this one is the first clip. And let's try to play this one. Okay, going to the second clip. Mm -hmm. And the uh, third clip. Alright, so let's go to the uh, first clip. Let's look over that last frame. Uh -huh. Okay, we need to uh, export frame. Let's name that one as Camera Serial 1. And don't forget to uh, export file project. Okay, let's grab that file. And uh, let's change it, this duration, into uh, 15 frames. Okay. So let's uh, expand the uh, timeline. I'm going to work on the uh, the frame that we exported the uh, picture, this particular picture. And then, um, okay, let's do the keyframe for this position and scale. Okay, our objective here is that the uh, circle of the uh, camera lens uh, touch the uh, the upper and the uh, lower part of the frame. And then we will do the uh, masking over that one later. Then let's move it um, at the end. And um, on that particular uh, position, uh, we, that's the uh, the position where the entire lens has been covered, the entire frame. So we need to adjust that one. So let's try scaling, uh, adjusting the value of the scale, and uh, adjusting the x and the y axis in the position. Okay, so once we're done with that, let's move over this uh, key frame to the uh, first part of the uh, clip and reset to parameter default okay so when you redo the uh, zoom okay when we change the keyframe it's you can see that it's zooming right we're good with that let's move over to the uh, opacity and we're going to do masking click the mask path the mask feather we can leave it as um, maybe a 4 ok so uh, let's do the masking let's change the uh, zoom level to somehow uh, 50% and uh, click on the circle path and uh, it takes some time, so uh, for the sake of this uh, tutorial, uh, let's have it faster, okay? And over the left, that last uh, uh, frame on the masking, check inverted, all right? Don't forget that one. And let's move back zoom level kit. And let's move uh, backward over those uh, mask path. See, it's uh, tracing over the uh, the mask that we did, and let's move it forward also so that it can track the uh, the mask uh, forward to the zoom level where the uh, entire screen will be uh, covered. Okay. So very good. 
let's uh, move over this uh, frame, rifle the lid. Let's see. Let's watch over it. Alright, that's perfect. Okay, stop. Let's um, work on, on the uh, this particular one. Let's uh, speed it, speed the uh, uh, the clip. So we need to copy this one also. So Control C and Control B, uh, rifle delete, and let's reverse the. Uh, Speed of that one, click OK. Alright, so let's try and play the video. So we're slowly moving forward until we reach the camera lens and that zoom scene and we're on a different scene. Okay, so let's stop and we need to work on this last frame. So we need to rifle delete this one. And um, as we move forward, you can see that um, we need to uh, reverse this uh, particular clip. So we'll do a, a right click, uh, speed duration, we need it to edit the speed. Alright. So let's play once again. Going into the camera then going out of the camera all right so we need to work on this um yeah this last uh, clip and uh, let's look at the first part of the frame okay so let's uh, click on the uh, export uh, camera export frame and let's name as cam01 okay Alright, let's grab that file and change the uh, duration to 15 frames. Fifteen frames is already enough for the uh, transition. Um, let's grab that one, put into the uh, the last part of the uh, second uh, or the, the the frame now for the transition. Um, Let's work on that one. So we need to do the key framing on this. Uh, click the position and scale. So this one we need to start probably at the uh, the part where the uh, the circle of the uh, lens would touch the uh, upper and the lower frame. So let's do some uh, yeah, adjustment on this one. Okay. So once we're done adjusting, let's drag this line to the right most and let's um, click over this uh, keyframe to uh, its original value. And as you can see, as we move this, it's uh, zooming in and out. So um, let's uh, drag that over to the uh, left most. And here, um, let's do the keyframe for that one. Um, set the uh, position value, the X and Y. And once done, you can see that it zooms in and out. Okay. So let's uh, move over this particular keyframe and let's do the uh, masking over that one. So click on this. Uh, be sure, click the mask path, the mask feather, we can leave it as 4. Okay, so let's um, change the uh, this one to 50% so we can uh, do the masking properly. Alright. 
click on the uh, circle, the lens and uh, for the sake of this video, let's uh, speed this up alright, and we're almost done okay, so drag down this and click inverted let's put it back to uh, the pit, so we can see alright and let's do the uh, mask path, let's move that forward and you can see that the uh, mask that we created is adjusting also to the uh, lens of the camera okay. okay, so let's drag, let's continue on where we step on the other side click it backwards You can see now that the uh, entire screen has uh, been the mask because we have the uh, new uh, scene on the other side. Okay. So let's expand this one. And you can see that it zooms out. And this is the final video. So going in the camera, new scene, going out of the camera, it's perfect. So that's it guys. If you like and learn something on this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit on that ring bell because we are making more of these videos in the future. Thanks for watching. God bless us all.